I've been commissioned to write about the skin. Empatigo, blepharitis, keloid. I can't even puncture the surface. I went down to the Battersea Art Centre um, and met um, the administrators there and they introduced me to Stacey and we chatted for about an hour over a cup of coffee or two. The first question I asked Michael was um, what his favourite skin disease was and why and um, his response was psoriasis which I'm kind of covered in and you know we gave each other the high five. Well she was outside my uh, normal comfort zone she was somebody different. I knew I could talk to him because I think sometimes scientists and doctors I get worried that you know we won't be able to really talk and with him I felt really relaxed. A girl, eight or nine years old, feral. Father works in a bar, mother behind bars. Born on an island, raised in a doctor's waiting room. People think of it as just a bag that uh, contains the rest of the organs, but it does an enormous amount of, of things. Um, vitamin, metabolizing vitamin D, protecting you against cancers, and its importance in, in um, society, its emotional significance. And loads and loads of things. Hair comes into it as well. We, we deal with that. That's part of the science of dermatology. The skin is it, it's the largest or organ of our body, and I think it does um, have ways of, of trying to show us what's happening inside. There's a tremendous psychological um, factor to skin disease. People imagine that stress produces skin disease, and my view is mainly the opposite. It's sort of like a prayer. It's sort of, um, in some ways, a lullaby, but it's kind of like a Motown lullaby. There's a feeling of freedom about it. I was impressed by the way she produced it. I don't think I could have done that for all the tea in China. This whole exploration was, was really meaningful for me. Um, and it didn't, just, it didn't just talk about the surface. It really took me into a deeper place.